All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my two cents on Echo Samana, and today we have a dev update. Currently, uh, it's only uh, in the JP language, and so we're over here with our friend who has at least Google translated it the best of their ability for us, uh, Genosi. Make sure we give him a shout out. Go and give him the thumbs up on the uh, Reddit page there. He likes to help out when we get things like this, just to give us a quick update on what's going on. So when we're looking over here, uh, we have our first news piece here that on the 28th, they're going to be celebrating the 31st anniversary of MANA. Uh, along with that, they're planning to campaign to acquire a four-star Benevidon, which obviously is really great for those dupes. Some spirit stones, which we're all going to need to keep leveling up our units uh, once we get them, you know, plus six, and etc. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so that's at the end of the month. Maybe we have something to look forward to there. But looking at a little bit more uh, closer, we have an equipment dungeon added. It looks like they're adding in another equipment dungeon for each of uh, our current ones, and that'll help like raise the uh, chances of getting a five-star piece of equipment. They, uh, <clears throat> the translation here says guarantee. I don't know if it's a guarantee. When I did my own translation, it said increase. So let's wait until we can see exactly if it's just an increase of that uh, five-star rate or indeed a uh, guarantee five-star equipment. If it's a guarantee, that'll go a long way, obviously, to helping us uh, farm for our equipment. I see that as a, a something that's holding back a lot of people, especially ones who aren't like, uh, spending a bunch of gems or anything like that, getting potions to increase their stamina for the day. So that'll be really nice if that is what it is, is for uh, that guarantee. But it also looks like we're getting a light damage and a dark damage uh, specific sets coming in. Uh, it's like I talked about this from before. We had the earth and wind that, you know, we're going to get the rest of the elements eventually anyhow. So that should be nice. And you're definitely going to want to get in there and start working on them. We've had a lot of light and dark characters here recently that I'm sure uh, you're going to need some gear for. Now, uh, let's see. Repair of the mission achievement points. This has been a uh, kind of a pain point for a lot of people. That on the uh, achievements, when you were getting them through the day, we'd be able to stack up to 10, get 100 spirit crystals. Well, we haven't had that. I don't think I've had it for almost two weeks now. And it looks like they're going to backdate it from when it broke and calculate all that way through and give that those amount of crystals to us. Let's see if that's actually what happens. I'm curious to make sure that uh, at least is working again because uh, I think that was a you know one of our sure ways of being able to get some, and it's definitely felt uh, much drier with the crystals not having it. So uh, again, on the 13th, they're going to have the story event shop revision. That's just where they add it to where you can get an limited amount of the alloy and the lucre in there. Probably nothing that we're really uh, going to uh, care for. Uh, challenge quest, you're going to be able to earn a title from the high difficulty boss. Storage, the devs will increase the equipment storage. So that was nice because one of the uh, pain points there is if you're farming for all these different sets of gear for all these different characters, but then you, you know the even the characters who are wearing gear still took up a piece in your equipment slot, I know that I've had to go through a couple times and just, you know, purge a lot of the gear I had. And I thought that was going to definitely be a pain point going forward as we got more of this elemental base gear. So that'll be nice. It doesn't say by how much they're going to increase it. So we'll, we'll kind of wait and see. I'm hoping that to get, you know, I think we're at 200 now. I'd like to see that at 400. All right. Equipment selling fix. When selling a four store or higher of equipment, the confirmation box will have a checkbox to do not display again. That'll be nice, just a quicker, easier way to get rid of things. Well, one less check that you have to click on, so less clicks, always good. Quest fail fix, when a quest fails, the tip box about upgrading your character will have a checkbox to do not display again. Okay, so we have that in case you don't want that popping up all the time. All right, and then we're looking here on the 18th, there will be a special bingo mission board where you can acquire two, three, four star Benevidons. Okay. In addition to the uh, the devs will hold a login bonus to acquire AP and SP. So I wonder if maybe this is tied into when they were talking about earlier about the Benevidons up here at the top. Of course, that says the 28th and this says the 18th. So if we're getting at least two four star Benevidons for free this month, that will go a long way into appeasing some of this... Uh, problems that we're having with the having to draw so many dupes out of the gotcha system so 
if we can get a couple of those free every month and not having to pay that $79.99 for it, uh, this game will definitely go uh, <laughs> in, a, in the right direction. Okay, um, second Bravers event. It looks like we're going to... Uh, event bosses will be weak to light and dark, so it's recommended to train these elements. Okay, we've got a lot of light and dark characters here recently. They're basically telling you that by the 20th, 10 more days from now, be ready with those light and dark units to be able to take on the next Bravers Arise event, which is that ranking event where you compete with other players. So uh, be looking bet uh, between now and then to get working on that. Uh, new main story quest. Looks like we might be getting these monthly. Looks like the next one is coming on the uh, 27th there. Uh, the devs are also planning to give a large amount of spirit crystals from the login bonus and a boss rush campaign where players earn rewards depending on the number of bosses they can defeat. This will also be a login bonus to commemorate the release of Final Fantasy Adventure. So that seems like it might be some really cool piece of content that we're going to have to wait till the end of the month for. Uh, but large amount of spirit crystals, I'm not, I'm not really sure what that means. It could be, uh, you know, 800 or it could be, you know, 100. <laughs> I'm not sure what large means to them uh, according to how they uh, are currently kind of string us along, giving us very little currently. So we'll wait and see. Could be really awesome. Um, and then just small other little fixes. The devs will continue to fix contents and defects that are not described at this time. Um, regarding loading times, uh, the devs are taking their time because it's necessary to make functional repairs on the system side. So they're saying they're working on it, uh, but that is just going to fix that's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, and then it looks like the de in July, the devs are planning a new event where the characters we have raised can play an active role and they are planning to add characters that will appear for the first time. Not really sure what that means by an active role. Probably something to do with the translation here that maybe when we get the English one we'll have that a um, little bit better understanding. Because uh, right now I feel like they take an active role when you play them. <laughs> so maybe it's more than just the, the three you normally take into combat. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, and then they distributed three AP and small uh, SP uh, large pots to us. So. All right, that's kind of the update. I'm pretty excited about this. I think this are some of the changes that we've been wanting to see. I see a lot of the pain points being addressed here. Uh, if we really can legitimately get two Benevidons uh, for four-star units uh, out of this month for free, I'm pretty excited about the future of this game because that, that definitely takes the amount of Spirit Crystals you need to one pull or even the strategy when it comes to pulling. Um, because right now it's kind of like you wait until you can, you know, get at least 200 in uh, on a banner. And hopefully you're getting a unit to plus four, plus five. And then being able to, um, you know, <laughs> the next time they come around be able to finish them. Uh, and that's extremely difficult. You're looking at waiting four or five months to pull. But if we can get, a, you know, at least two free Benevidons per month. And whatever these events are that they're planning to add some, you know, large spirit crystals on that could go a long way to fixing a lot of the, uh, uh, like I said, pain points that I've heard a lot of people have. Anyhow, that's been my two sets.